Yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey, how's it going, Robbie? Hey, Chris. Thanks for jumping on a call with me, man. Oh, no worries, man. Anything for you. I appreciate you taking the time. I know you got your family and you got stuff going on. Um, but why don't you do me a favor? Why don't you tell us about how you and I met? Oh, that's a great thing. So I actually just had one of my kids. I have a lot of them, by the way. But uh, I just had one of my kids. Dude. And I was at the I was at the hospital and they reached out and they're like, we've got a new dealer and we need you to talk to him. Uh, he's got a lot of great ideas and you guys should probably start working together. And it was like, it was awesome. We hit it off right off the bat. Yeah, we had a lot of similar ideas. It was really good, yeah, for sure. Do you remember um, when we met in person and we actually got to talk in person? Like, was what were, what was it that we talked about that sticks out in your mind kind of, or even like since we've known each other? Like since we've known each other, what's something that stuck out in your mind that we've either done together or like maybe something you learned from me that's really helped you a lot? I think a couple things that like really put together was I always had these ideas of like doing things. And then I talked to you and you'd like already done them. Like it's like, I was like, we should, I want to put together these bundle sheets and have these different products and you can like buy this stuff and have it all priced. And you're like, oh, I already did it. And you like email me the PDF. It was like awesome. <laughs> like it was crazy. And then I was working on my uh, employee handbook and you're like, oh, my mom does this and I've already got this. And like, it was like the coolest thing. Cause it just seemed like anything that I wanted to do or like I knew was like the right thing to do, you'd already done it. And it was like awesome. Cause it was just great. It gave me the motivation to know that like someone's doing this stuff, but at the same time, I could always ask you when I knew that like you've already like been working on it. That's awesome, man. Did that employee handbook, was it, did the template that I gave you, how did it help you? Uh, I, as a small business owner, it's really hard to like know all the legalities and all this stuff. And you've already done like a lot of the homework and the background stuff. And I had to like double check it like with my state to know like, is this gonna be okay? but it gave me so much of the stuff and like the policies and things like that. You know, I didn't, uh, I didn't cut and copy your work. Don't worry. But, uh, <laughs> that's you know, all right. Like, too. I mean, you but just but knowing right like, okay, holiday pay. And like, you know, just to remember like all these things that are so important to a business that you just don't think about on a daily basis. And you know, the, the point of having the, the handbook is that you have the policies in place so that when something comes up, you've got something to reference that you could be like, well, it's right here, this is how we do it. And it keeps that consistency. And that's what's tough is, you know, employees always know like what you did or what you said and they, and, and you don't, me personally, don't always remember what I did the last time. So I can always rely on that. So it, it was really, really helpful. Do you remember, do you remember when we did a four hour long live feed on Facebook and yeah. And yeah. Yeah. My arms still remember that. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember the results of that when I showed you? I mean, do you remember like oh, how- Oh, blew the, my mind and the amount of people that were watching and shared it and everything. It was incredible. Yeah, man. Do you think that that helped you like learn about Facebook marketing? Oh, for sure. And I think- it was remembering to say things, to do things, how you word things, how you like repeat things. I mean, it, it's helped me immensely. What do you, what do you think after having that experience, like that four hour, we did a four hour Facebook Four talk. hour live. <laughs> <laughs> that was, but it was great. And it was, it was kind of ad libbed. I mean, it was, it was set up that like people knew, hey Brighton, People knew that us, uh, one of my boys, uh, people knew that we're like, we were gonna walk into their booth, but they didn't really know what we were gonna say. And you know, what what I liked is whether they were products you sold or not, as we went around through the vendors, you made a point to give them a chance to talk about their product. You primed the pump a little bit, like trying to get them to speak and, and to say things and advertise. And then the most important thing was getting them to throw something in for free that yep. you could add into that to give away. And, and some of them were like sewing machines. Some of them were like spools of thread, but it was just like, it was it was whatever they wanted to do was up to them. But we gave away, them, I think we gave away like, uh, how much do you think? Thousands. It was, it was thousands of dollars. It was huge. 
<laughs> I don't know how you got that home. Huge. Like, honestly. Very impressive. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so with the, with what you learned, like in that experience, that experience we had together, doing that live feed, seeing the giveaways, and then like taking that into your own business, did you imp have you implemented some of that in your own business? Your organic I, Facebook marketing strategies. I I think one of the biggest thing a doing lives. I've never I'd never done one before, and it was it was an easy way to do it because I didn't feel like the pressure, you know, it was just like kind of walking, walking around and, and knowing that as people will watch it if it's interesting content, content and if you're giving something away. I mean, the, people wanna, wanna be involved, wanna be part of it. And I think so few of the people in uh, our industry in particular, um, really do a lot of lives. And it's if nice you, to- If you were to say like, okay, like, you you learned some stuff about live feeds and then you like took that into your business and then you started really implementing it. like you really started implementing organic facebook strategies that like we'd experience together and that you learned from me how yeah. much money do you think you've made with those I, organic facebook strategies i can't even, like i can't honestly can't even quantify i can tell you that my business has more than doubled like more than doubled would and, you say would you say like six figures? Oh, easy, easy, more, more. Like and it's figures? one of those things where it's just getting out there and it starts off really hard. Cause I mean, when I first really started doing lives, I had less than a hundred followers on my page. And getting people to start yeah, I know, it's like whoa. <laughs> and uh but doing the videos and getting people up there and just and, and just putting content out. I think that's the biggest thing that I learned from you. And it's not just anything, but you've got to be just doing it and, you know, taking the time to, to do a live and to get out there and just put it out there on a regular basis. You start getting more people watching, more people following and more things happen. And, you know, it just people start sharing. And that's the thing about our industry in particular is they're a close knit group and they love sharing with their friends and, you know, putting it out there. So powerful. Yeah. Yeah. So powerful, man. Um, yeah. Thank you for that. That's awesome, man. Like that's a really powerful message. I think that's why we, we work so well together is cause like you're a doer, like you do things like, you know, like if it's oh, you are too. <laughs> 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 like time to get it done. Yeah. What would you tell people? What would you tell people that are thinking about working with my coaching service and working with me as a business coach? I, the big thing I would say is you've done it. And of all the people in the industry, I don't know anybody who works harder to implement processes that work downstream that make your life easier. And I think it's something that you, you have a great way of trying to organize things and put things down in a method that's repeatable and, and results driven. And that's really important for me is that being a, a small business owner myself, it's really difficult to try and make time to do all these things. But if I can put something together to where it's already kind of set up so that I do it once, a little more work the first time, but then down the road, I don't have to work as hard. I'll take that any day of the week. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Your time, what do you think your time is worth like per hour, Robbie? Oh, I, I, I mean, just like- When it's time away from my, <laughs> my kids and all that, like I literally couldn't put a dollar amount on it. It's crazy. It's yeah, it's priceless. It is priceless. Oh my internet! Awesome, man. Well, thank you so much for doing this interview with me. I'll be talking to you again, Robbie. Yeah, really appreciate yeah, you it, will. man. Thanks, Chris. Oh yeah. <laughs>